this is Jen Gallagher and I just received my SCT October sampler kit and I wanted to do a little unboxing video so you could see the amazing things that come in your package. Now please note that everyone gets a slightly different things in their packages so yours might not look exactly like mine. This is going to give you a taste of what you'll receive. So when you get it, it comes in this darling little box that has all of the SCT marketing on it. And the first thing that you'll notice are these charming little 5x7 cards. And each of them has a new quote on it, and you could put these in a frame. This one says, We All Have Magic Inside Us by J.K. Rowling. And then on the back, it gives you a list of all of the things that are included in this particular sampler. So you can see you get a taste of crepe paper, you get a taste of Heidi Swap, Bella Boulevard, Lawn and Fawn, and Tailored Expressions. Now the concept behind here is that you get a taste of things. So you're going to get some of the die cuts. Aren't they so cute? And I love that it's Halloween. This is a glittered sticker. Can you see that? glittered. This one is a die cut. Trick or treat. Oh, I love this floral tag. And there are some letters in here to spell a word. One of the journaling cards. One of the sweet cats from Crate Paper. Then these are new stickers from Bella Boulevard. They're super charming and they have teeny little phrases on them and it's corrugated. Oh, how fun! Some stars that'll go perfectly with the Halloween project. Four little enamel dots. And this is where you might see that you have different colors or things like this. This is a 3x4 card that is watercolor paper and it is from Tailored Expressions. And you can stamp on it with the proper ink and then watercolor it. So you can give watercoloring a try. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful! A Heidi Swap stamp. And it includes all these different images and phrases. That is amazing, a whole stamp set. Now I am the creative editor and I don't know what's going in these samplers till I get them either, so it's fun to see. This one's really charming from Lawn Fawn. It is a line that goes across and says, thanks teacher. Some stickers, some phrase stickers and a charming pink. And then here are the six by six paper. This is a popular floral. Gingham, spider webs, pumpkins, more gingham, cute little Halloween characters. Now you're getting into crepe paper, so you get two different 6x6 six six paper pad pieces, which is amazing. So beautiful. So you get a taste of Halloween, and then you also get these beautiful pieces that I think would be gorgeous for fall. So now that I've shown you what I got in my sampler, I'm going to show you something that you can make with it. Now when you get a sampler, you're often going to need to add a few extra supplies to create a project, but this is a great taste and a great starting point for any project. So I wanted to show you how to create a card with some of the items from the sampler kit. So I've started with a piece of the 6x6 pattern paper and I've cut it down to be the front of an A2 card. And then I've placed this beautiful flower stamp right on my Misty stamping tool. And then I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm actually going to stamp an image right onto the pattern paper. And I'm doing that with the ink. And the nice thing about the Misty is it holds with the magnets, it holds the pattern paper in place. So if the image wasn't as straight as I wanted, or rather as inked as I want to, I can come back and add some additional stamping to that. The next thing I'm going to stamp is this label piece. And I had a solid piece of pattern paper. It has a pattern on the back, but it came with the crepe paper. And I liked this yellow kind of distressed pattern. I'm using that tuxedo black ink again. And I'm using my Misty stamping tool. And again, I'm going to double stamp it as this is a new stamp. And sometimes the new stamps take a while for them to take ink but the Misty allows me to stamp it twice. So now I can fussy cut this from the yellow pattern paper. To create the card, I'm going to take that piece of pattern paper 
and I cut it slightly smaller than the front of my A2 card. And I'm just using some dot runner adhesive to attach it to the front of the card. And then I'm taking the tag that came in my sampler kit. I've tied some ribbon to it. And I'm going to attach this on the right side of the card so that you still can see some of that stamped image. Then here is the fussy cut stamped image we stamped onto the yellow pattern paper. We're going to put this on the card more on the right side as well. And then I have this kitty cat to which I've added some adhesive foam dots. So if you have something in your sampler that stands out or is more of an iconic image, then use pop dots or something to kind of help it stand out. And I still want some of that stamped image to show. Then I have taken from my own stash a manual die cut that is a leaf die cut. There's small ones and large ones. And I'm going to add adhesive just to the bottom part and attach them behind the kitty cat. Vellum shows the adhesive, so you have to be kind of cautious about where you actually place the adhesive. And I'm okay with my adhesive kind of sticking up underneath that cat and and letting the rest of the die kind of sit up. And I have three, two small and a large. And then we'll take this cute little sweet die cut. So if you have a phrase, see if you can incorporate it into your cards. We'll add some adhesive to this. And we'll place that across the kitty cat onto the die cut, fussy cut label we did. And then to finish off the card, I'm going to take some of these little darker blue enamel dots that I got. And there you can see I just used a few elements from the kit as well as some additional items to create a beautiful card. So these samplers are great for card making. Let me show you another thing you can make with this kit. So now that we've used some of the crepe paper items in the Heidi Swap stamp, I'm going to switch over and show you some of the things you can do with Halloween stuff. So I have two card bases, one in yellow and one in orange, and these are made so that they come this color. And we're just going to do two really quick cards. We're going to use this pumpkin pattern paper, and that will go in the center of this yellow square card. To the bottom, the other side of that pumpkin paper has this charming random stripe and that will go here at the bottom across the two pieces where they meet we're going to add some orange cardstock you can see i've actually left the sticker on the back no big deal just make sure that is square across the top and then i got a tab in my kit so i'm going to add that right above the orange piece and then we'll just add the magic sticker. And this is the glitter sticker that I showed you. You just peel off the backing and it's all ready for you to go. And it, the glitter does come off, so you'll want to just kind of dust it off when you're done. So super quick card using a few elements, but really charming and dynamic. The next card, we're going to use the orange base. And this time I'm using the orange gingham. It has dots on the other side if you like that pattern better. I've cut this down to be slightly smaller than this A2 card front. And then the beautiful black floral, I'm using the purple side. Dust off some of that excess glitter. And almost in the center, or if you like it a little more at the top, that's fine. Then I received two die cuts that are leaves. And we're gonna place these onto the card, slightly overlapping. And then the trick or treat that I received is a beautiful opal. Again, whatever you received that has a phrase or an iconic piece would be great for the center of your card. I'm just gonna add a few pop dots to the back of it. And then I can place this onto the purple piece and the orange piece, and then we'll add just a few stars to this card. So just adding a little bit of kind of everything that we received. 
So there you have two Halloween cards using just some of the items and I still have a lot left over. If you haven't yet subscribed to receive the sampler, I suggest you do so now. I've included the link below in the video description. Thank you for joining me and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.